back again. Welcome back to Global News. And it is interesting that uh, we talked about in the previous uh, sports edition that the Big Ten expanded and uh, added S- uh, USC and UCLA to their conference. Now, since then, the Big Ten has closed, or at least near closed, on their TV rights with CBS, Fox, and uh, uh, NBC, with about 350 some odd million a year. Okay, for seven years, totaling about a billion plus. And with that being said, let's look at the shape of the conference and how it is uh, forming right now. Actual college football, should I say. You have the playoffs doing their own thing, the media doing their own thing, and then the conferences doing their own thing. Now, looking at the two major conferences based off of TV contracts as well as teams which is the Big Ten of course and SEC now the other three conferences is the ACC the Pac-12 and the Big 12 now looking at SEC and the Big Ten we know those are one and two and then there's a race for who's going to be the third top conference. Now, this is where we have a discussion about the third top conference. Now, if you look at the the Pac-12, they just was poached for two of their best teams in the LA market, so they clearly is out of that race for the third best conference. They are closing or in negotiation on a new TV contract, which is up, I believe, next year, if I'm not mistaken. Um, And they're somewhere in the ballpark of 20 to 25 million per per year uh, for that conference. Now, when you look at that, that's clearly not up to par far as being the third highest paid conference in college football. You have next up the ACC. The ACC grant of rights is still in effect for another, I think, 10 years or so. It's not up to 2036, which is crucial. And it's only paying about 30 million, I believe, a year per school. So ESPN got a sweet deal on that. I don't. They're not going to, you know, give up that grant of rights. So therefore, that means there's no expansion, at least right now, with the ACC. So with that being said, they're locked in that position with no expansion. So clearly, it's out of the Pac-12 and the Big 12. That leaves the Big 12 in position to be the third highest paid conference in the uh, college football landscape. What does that mean? Well, you know that they have um, they are positioned to do well for the simple, simple fact that the Big 12 have added three, no, four, four more teams to replace Texas and Oklahoma, which clearly they uh, have met that goal as far as um, eyeballs and possibly making anywhere I say would, I would say the Big 12 is worth 40 to 45 million a year per school, which clearly puts them behind the SEC and the Big 10, but clearly the third top paid conference and with that being said 
this is going to create another realignment with within the ACC and the Pac-12. How it's going to happen, I don't know. But I believe, um, if I'm not mistaken, there will be possibly two, if not four schools going to jump from the Pac-12 over to the Big 12 just for the simple fact that they're not getting paid enough and they want to get paid more at the Pac-12 and to stay there and do another deal and receive less pay and possibly fall behind and uh, um, TV and uh, media bucks, they're not going to stay. So you could see another realignment. So clearly uh, the, the, the Big 12 is positioned to be the third best conference in college football. Even though the ACC have uh, <clears throat> some great schools over there, they can't expand and they can't get paid more money, TV money. So they're screwed over there as it relates to being isolated and idled. So while they're just sitting there and it's almost like they're forced to accept less and not grow, they're stuck. So. The SEC, the Big Ten, and the Big 12 will all have their eyes on the ACC when their grant of rights expire, which means they're going to be so oppressed over there in the ACC for those, what, 10 plus years for uh, waiting for expansion that they're, they're not, they're, they're ain't go, they ain't going to be able to wait until that finish to where they can leave that conference which is going to be the fall of the ACC. So they will be equivalent to the Pac-12. I see why I'm hearing discussions where the Pac-12 and the ACC may want to join up because at this point, you can clearly say that they're in bad positions right now. The Big 12 is going to be the third best conference, hands down, because of the position. Once again, they're in and the uh, contract will be coming up for a ne negotiation in the next couple of years. And uh, that's when they'll be possibly adding those two, if they don't do it now, those two to four schools. So there you have it. The Pac-12, I mean the uh, Big 12 positioned to be the third best conference in college football. And I believe they're going to be uh, one, two, three, four conferences out of the Pac-12 and the ACC. One of them is not going to, I mean, both of them is not going to exist. One is going to either merge. It's only going to be four top conferences. And then it's going to go from there with, I believe, and I'm hearing these talks, each TV brand is going to pick a conference and they're going to put their money behind that conference and they're going to go from there. You have ESPN, you have Fox, you have NBC and CBS. And that means the conference per media uh, company. And I, I clearly see that. Four conferences at this point for the next 10 to 15 years. And then after that, who knows what. But at this point, I can clearly see the Big 12 being the third best conference and they are going to be paid more than the ACC in the Pac-12, and they're going to grab a couple of schools to add to that value, and then the rest, they're going to keep building on it and change with the landscape. I don't see the Big 12 actually uh, disappearing. This next contract is going to be significant for the Big 12. They have to negotiate it clearly, uh, 10 plus years. I wouldn't do a seven year uh, agreement just because uh, if it expires so soon after you increase in value and build up your conference and build uh, your schools up for this next window of media rights, 
you're going to have the Big Ten and the uh, I mean the Big Ten and the SEC waiting to steal more teams. So you better kind of like do a secure thing like the ACC has done, but with better paying money to grab some schools from the Pac-12 and let the ACC the window when they rights come up. Your, your rights shouldn't come up till after the ACC rights. So it needs to be a, a lucrative deal that goes beyond 2036. Yep, that is uh, the forecast for college sports landscape, college football, with the Big 12 being the next uh, highest paid conference under <clears throat> or behind the, <clears throat> the Big 10 and the SEC. Thank you. Uh, Till next time, have a great day.